All right. Hello. Yeah. What? My thing don't work. No, no, it's fine. I, I do. I can do it with my phone. But um. Okay. So, basically, um, I'm in. I'm, I'm not talking to you, but uh, I'm just talking to. Um, I don't know people on YouTube. But anyway, so now. In my last video, I unboxed a. Um, add violence, the vinyl, and not the actual event, vinyl CD and physical component. And, uh, so, right now, I'm in Iowa, I'm staying at my, uh, my, my, um, grandma's house. Well, grandma's apartment. That's her dog. Anyway, so, now, I went to the record store today. I was men. I meant to get, um, I meant to get, yeah, what? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll speak a little quieter, sorry. Okay, I gotta speak quiet because it's, uh, apartment, you see. But anyway, so, now, there's my turntable over there. And I meant to get a Clockwork Orange, the soundtrack of that album, on vinyl. But they, because I saw it there last time, it was like $8, but I guess someone bought it. So it was when we went there, it wasn't there. I got $40, and this one was like about $23. This one was like about, yeah, $13. Anyway, so, now, these two albums are absolutely nothing alike. And I think, well, this one's good, Kid Mad City by Kendrick Lamar. This one's The Smile Sessions by The Beach Boys. And now I'm going to unbox both of them. Even though they're two different worlds, they're absolutely nothing alike. But uh, now, To Pippa Butterfly, which is not that album, but I think that To Pippa Butterfly is my... Do you want the is, piano on here? No, you can turn that off. Thank you. I'll yeah. go ahead and take it and put it in my room. All right, sounds good. I'm not. But yeah, they're like absolutely nothing alike. But um, but the Bimba Butterfly and Good Kid, Mad City. I like Good Kid, Mad City slightly more. I think I used to like the Bimba Butterfly more, but now I kind of like Good Kid, Mad City more. But they're both fantastic albums and both easily both two Kendrick's both best best albums. I saw that one there. I probably would have gotten that one too, but it was too expensive. It was like thirty something dollars, so I didn't end up getting it. I also saw at Folsom Prison. On vinyl there, but it was it was like twenty three dollars and twenty three and twenty three do not make up to forty, and all I had was forty dollars. But anyway, so anyway, so you can probably skip ahead. I don't know, but now let me unbox it. Now I'll unbox Good Kid, Mad City first, and this really like this is honestly like easily one of the best albums of the. Of the 2010s, in my personal opinion, and it's also very, very accessible, and it's already like very, hold on, influential as well. There's a lot of artists really inspired or look in this album in great depth, and you know, just already very inspired by it, even though it's not really that old. And this album is also it's like tells a little story as well. You know, it's like about crime in the streets and how, like, there's a lot of lyrics about, it's kind of an anti-violence crime album, kind of, even though there's a lot of lyrics that are kind of, but, you know, obviously Kendrick Lamar is kind of a religious person, so the thing about me, I'm dying of thirst, that is and always will be my favorite Kendrick Lamar song, kind of like how, you know, he, even when I... Used to prefer to put a butterfly over this. I still thought. Um, this thing about me, I'm dying to kiss. Was it's by far is easy, easily his best song. And that's one of my favorite hip hop songs of all time as well. You can look at this if you want. So those are just lyrics. Those are some pictures of Kendrick's family. Okay. And. Now, oh, shit. camera's kind of blurry. Okay. Now, I will now unbox "Smile Sessions" by the Beach Boys CD. Though. Okay. So, is it right there? It says "Smile Beach Boys." Now, this album's kind of cool. Basically, I actually have the CD of Pet Sounds. Now, hold on. Let me get it out.
Here we go. Basically, this album, Smile Sessions, there was going to be an album. This was released in 2011. But there's an, this album, Pet Sounds, this album was originally supposed to come after it. But, um, basically, um, the band members really weren't getting along. Brian Wilson had trouble with drugs and all this stuff. And eventually they canceled the project. And, and, um, later in 2011, they released a whole box set. Oh, you gotta take your pills Definitely. tonight. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll take them. I'll take them, like, a little later once I finish this video. But, um, so... Basically, um, they released a box set that had all the songs that were supposed to be released on Smile and ended up putting it on a box set and all this other stuff. So a lot of this has outtakes and all this stuff and demos, and then it has the album itself. And uh, this is a little booklet, so I'll get this out. And, uh, oh, crap. So... It gets too hard in here. Open the window. Oh, that's all right. Uh, that brings that breeze right into you. Okay. You mind sleeping on the couch? Yeah, I'm fine with it. Okay. This little fan, you'd be surprised how it cools it off. All right. And you can just bend it any way you want, and it just. All right. Okay, honey, I'm going to bed. Okay. All right. Good night. If you want to watch TV. Oh, it's okay. I usually, I usually don't sleep with the TV on. Oh. oh yeah. Okay. Good night. Good night. Okay. Bye. Sleep well. All right. Okay, let me, um, oh, crap. Let me... I'll get the CD out. Hold on, this is the CD. Now put this away. All right. Okay. And I'll get this one out. Okay. This is the one. See if it has a, anything on the spine before I put it away. Yeah, it does. Okay. This is spine. Okay. Let me see. It focuses. I don't know. It's alright. Let me see what this. Yeah, this does too. Alright. I'm gonna put this stuff away. And I'll end the video. Okay. Thank you for watching.